everyone, it's your girl, Miss Stapleton. Thank you for joining in um, on another episode of Journey to Sports Agent. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm actually taking the test to become an MBA agent in January. So at this point, we're kind of 90 days out. And um, this video is going to just explain my 90 day action plan to kind of study and get through all of the material and make sure that I'm prepared for the test in January. So let's get right into it. Previously, I dropped a promo video on Instagram and I had a couple people reach out to me and ask me what are the requirements and the application process to becoming an MBA agent. Now with every league, um, whether it be a professional league like NBA, NFL, the NHL, there are different requirements. And then when you go overseas and smaller leagues, they have their different requirements as well. As far as the NBA, um, just having a bachelor's degree, is the one thing that they require versus with the NFL, you have to have a master's. I have not went through the application processes yet. Yes, I'm studying before I actually go through the application process because along with the application, you have to pay $1,250 um, in order to just you know start the process. And my theory is if I'm not dedicated enough and I'm not confident enough to take the test in January, then there's no need for me to pay the money if I know that I'm not gonna be able to put all of my energy and resources into it. So I've given myself until um, September 23rd, where I'll be kind of two thirds or three fourths through the material. Um, and like I said, we're gonna get through, we're gonna talk about what my 90 day strategy is. So let's just get right into that. So um, I have a process where I read through everything first, then I note take and then I kind of go through and ask myself questions and see if I can answer them. That has been my study process through school. I was actually a really good test taker. I was one of those people that would never show up to class and then just read all the materials, take the test and boom, I would pass. So I'm putting a little bit more effort than when I was in college into this because this is ultimately my career and not just a grade and I'm spending a lot of money to take this one test versus when I was in school, I'll pay 3000 for the semester, we'd have several tests, whatever the case may be. So um, in the month of September to October, I've broken the test down. It's about 570 pages. So roughly I need to read about 100, and, 100 to 150 pages every week to make it through. And when I say read through, I'm just literally reading through. I'm not taking any notes. There's a lot of legal jargon in there, so I will be kind of um, looking up a lot of the terms that I don't know. I'm on page 60 as of right now, and there have been a few terms that I wasn't familiar with. At the beginning of the CBA agreement, there is a glossary. My suggestion, skip that. Um, I started out reading the glossary. I had a major headache. Once I started reading the CBA agreement and I started to see the terms um, showing up there, I use context clues and depending on what section you're actually reading and how familiar you are with sports and representation, it makes more sense once you're reading the agreement than just reading the term and not having any context as to what they're speaking of. So like I said, with the glossary, my suggestion to skip through it, you can always reference it because like I said, it is at the beginning of the CBA. So like I said, for the month of September, I'll just be reading through. I won't be taking any notes. It's just a one time over to kind of just understand what exactly it is I'm getting myself into. Now from October to November, that's when I will begin to section off and see what well, I've read through it. These are the main topics or the reoccurring um, themes. These are the dates, these are the scales, these are the time periods that I feel will be important and I will start to take notes. And I'll also do a video on that, on my note-taking um, strategy, whether I'm gonna use note cards, post-its. This is an open book test, but with 576 pages of content, you kind of don't know where to go. And they have a class, um, a review class beforehand uh, but it's, I think it's like the week of the test. Okay, the review class is actually the day before the exam. Now, and from November to December, what I'm going to be doing is looking through ESPN and podcasts and things of that nature and listening. And you can do that whatever step through. I'm just finding that after I read everything and I feel knowledgeable, looking at those resources and listening to what they're actually talking about and seeing if I can say, oh yeah, well, it's this rule that applies to this or no, that's not accurate because of X, Y, Z. Just even researching some of the contracts that have been brought up and relating it to actual players and really just seeing players that are, you know, that just have come out in the draft and where they landed and, you know, kind of guessing, okay, this was their um, 
salary and this was their situation and looking at players that are coming up on free agency and all the different things that are involved that will be just like day-to-day -day life things and I'll also be researching because it's more on the test than just a CBA it's actually like what it takes to be an agent that's when I'll really go into and you know ask questions and maybe um, read, read a book or so after I get through all this content because there are many books about agents and, and they kind of give you um, insight as to what it is to be an agent and those things are invaluable so th that's kind of like my three-step process another thing um, a guy named Larry Kuhn he kind of goes through a lot of the CBA topics I mean he has a whole school that happens in Vegas uh, during the summertime where he kind of breaks it down uh, he has lots of YouTube videos he actually has a website which I'll link in this video and a lot more of my videos because I probably will be referencing him a lot uh, and it basically goes through everything i started going through it but like i said i haven't made it through the whole cba so it kind of didn't make sense to go through those terms and those questions that he has on his website when i haven't went through the full document now you may find um, a different strategy in doing it and i would love to hear you know ways that you've studied or if you're watching this video and you've actually taken the test we all would like some tips um you know just reach out to me and until next time guys that is my 90 day strategy for right now. Next week, I'll be posting another video May, um, on the 23rd. Look out for my video about the application process because like I said, that's when I'll be dropping that. Until next time, guys, it's your girl, Ms. Stapleton. Thank you for tuning in to my journey to sports agent. Until next time, drop me some questions. Email me at dominique at staplingsuccess.com or um, you know, reach out to me on social media, Miss 3 underscore Stapleton's Dominique Stapleton on Facebook, Dominique Stapleton on LinkedIn.